Aloha and welcome to Hastings. Well, almost. Uh, we're going to be going through the lock here, lock 18, and going into town. So join us for another boat story here in Hastings on the Trent Severn. Aloha. We are Sava, Cynthia, and Alex, along with our two dogs, Lucy and Shadow. We're traveling America's Great Loop, a 6,000-mile North American waterway from Florida to Canada and back down via the Mississippi. Follow us on this journey on our boat called Mahalo. Today we're going to go from Lock 18 in Hastings towards Peterborough, Lock number 19. All right, so Cynthia just released us from the front, Alex from the back. They're switching places. Um, Cynthia's usually in the back and she's more comfortable there. So we're slowly advancing into the lock. Top of Lock 18, the Lockmaster's house, and again, we have a bridge that crosses the, um, the canal right here, so we're going to have to wait for it to open. We're going to park right on the other side, on the starboard side, as this thing fills. Here you can see the spillway, and we are in Hastings, Hastings, uh, Ontario. Let's take a quick look and see what Cynthia's doing here. I think she's hanging on for dear life in the backyard, the dog's backyard. Yeah, there's a lot of barking. <laughs> beautiful view though, uh, beautiful country up here in Canada. We've really enjoyed the trip so far. Um, yesterday was a lot of locks, it was like 10 locks, and we were, that, was, that kept us really, really busy. So, all right, we're almost at the top, ready to continue on. So this is where we, um, we impact the traffic in the town of Hastings, unfortunately, because they have to open the uh, open the bridge for us. I think they're trying to find just the right timing to give everyone a chance to cross. We're going to make a quick stop here in Hastings, go to the pet store, over to the playground, to the grocery store, on to the hardware store, and back to Mahalo. Aloha and welcome to Hastings. We're stopping here at Pepper's Pet Food and Supplies. Um, we noticed that on Google Maps to get, uh, to get some things for the puppies. We actually love this pet store so much, we had to get a selfie real quick. And with that, we also had to shot, get a shot with uh, Mahalo in the background. You can see how close it is to the store. Inside, you will find just about everything pet related and the owner is so friendly and knowledgeable. We were so impressed. So we found a playground right across from Peppers. And Peppers you see right here, right over there. And there you see Mahalo right between the two cars. So yeah, if you have kids, of course, this is a great place for them to just quickly get off and. Of course, yeah, there's there's a bank right there. I mean, it's it's all here, right here in the corner. Um, and if you look over there, there's the grocery store, Value Mart. No, we just walk once. Okay. And I think we've reached the middle of town, Cynthia. And so we noticed that we had the pet store, the playground, and a post office and a bank. So if you needed an ATM or if you needed to mail something or get a mailer, mail 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 gifts back to loved ones. It's here. And this seems to be right downtown. Now we go straight ahead, there appears to be a hardware store right past the Canadian flag over there. And we're going to go over here to the grocery store. Aloha Value Mart right here in Hastings. Look yeah. And 
the grocery store. So Cynthia's doing her shopping here. We're going to go on out to the hardware store, which should be right back here. And you get a bolt, make sure our outboard doesn't come off this time. So you can get some bolts through that one. Alex says there's a bowling alley here. Bowling lanes glow in the dark. It looks pretty dark and I don't know what the hours are, but I'm sure the locals know. There's the general store and a laundromat. Laundromat, that is good to know for those who don't have laundry on their boat. But we're going here into the hardware store. So we got the bolts for the um, for the outboard captain's table family restaurant. Not sure, but uh, we're going back over here to the um, to the grocery store. Which you see right there, Value Mart. <clears throat> Things to note here in Hastings is the first weekend in May to Thanksgiving weekend. It's every Saturday, eight to one, they have a village market. So that's right here by the post office, I trust. So. All right, we just left Hastings and uh, Ontario, and it looks like we have to go between the swing bridge. That looks really, really tight. We're gonna have to take a peek and see how we fit through that. Um, seems to be a common, common theme here on the Trent Severn is that uh, some of these passages ways are really, really small. Zava does love these balconies that have the glass panels for their balcony railings and he also likes the one with airline cables. But how nice to be able to have a nice view even when you're sitting down from your balcony. Here's another nice house that has the same glass panels on their upper balcony. Very nice, right Paul? See that one? That's that A-frame style with the glass panels on their balcony. Goosey Goosey, how are you this morning? I think she has regret. She got down. She always has jumped down her break. You have to call no, her. No, she just has to be down now. All right, go Catch to daddy. Time. No. Catch her. Nope. Catch her. Nope. Oh, but she has an itchy belly. Here, I'll give you the camera. Mm, girl. Oh, she is. There she goes. She's sad.
fishermen out here don't care for that, I'm sure. Now here comes another small craft. Is that just a fishing boat coming? That's not a wave runner, I don't think. But it's coming quick. We'll definitely have to do music. <laughs> action. <laughs> it's the action. You knew I felt me. Oh my goodness. We're not going to get likes and subscribes. We're going to get unsubscribes. <laughs> Shoot. Oh my. Aloha. Welcome to Rice Lake. That is what we're in right now. I'm gonna show you what was behind us was Lock 18. Was it Lock 18, Cindy? Yes, it was. Lock 18, and what we see here is a whole number of villages, lots of little islands, lots of boats that uh, pass us and cause wakes. Big ones, small ones, but every island seems to have someone's house on it, just like in the Thousand Islands. Here it is very shallow if you're not in the in the channel. It goes quickly down to five feet. Right now I think we're like uh, I know Cindy can probably tell us how many feet we have right here. Looks like uh, 12. Yeah, somewhere in that neighborhood is what we have here. So it looks it looks really deep, but isn't. Um, out here you can probably walk. So anyway, that's what it looks like. A little overcast, but the nice thing is it's not too hot. It's actually comfortable. And we are in mid to late August right now here. There is Spook Island on Rice Lake. Someone going really fast to their fishing hole. We've got two buoys up here, red and green. They tell us to make a sharp right turn and head somewhere in there. So that's what we're going to be doing. Coming up on it right here at the end of our trip on Rice Lake. This is. And There's a pontoon and boot boat over here fishing, and then right over here adjacent is what looks like rocks. Rock. Yeah, looks like a rock. But look how close these little posts are. Got here and right here. And so what we're trying to do is stay between and enter. Uh, you would never know that this is the way to go if you didn't have a navigation. This is just after you pass Spook Island. Mm -hmm. And now you come and make this hard right, literally, a, 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 a good... We're leaving Rice Lake and entering... This is the Trent Severn Waterway. This is their pathway. But if you did not have that guidance, wouldn't you think you should continue on in this yeah. beautiful wide yeah. space? Yeah. You would no sooner, like, come over here this would not be your first choice thinking this is where you should go. So this is where we're being guided. I don't know how deep it is here. But... Uh, it's, it's about five feet under our feet. Five feet. But still, it's been a lovely day for us because there ha it hasn't been choppy out here, and just looking at how big this is picking up, though, the wind is picking up. More than it was, but it was very smooth. And it looks like on this water, this part of the waterway, it's going to be smooth for us, nestled in amongst the trees and the marshlands. I think this is an island here to my right. I think the water goes around that scrub brush. Oh, there is a boat right here at the entrance. Fishing boat. boats here and there that passed us. Not a lot. And Zappa, you can see there, there's some stuff sticking up out of the water as well. So there's more of this. I see some branches right here at one o'clock sticking up just past the red post. We're not going there, but...
some more of the birds. Look, so I the seagulls pretty lined up on that driftwood. Maybe the current helps them to fish. So there you have it. We tried to be so nice for those poor people that were fishing. I'm going to go back there. And we were so careful not to give them a wake. And, and then you had this. This craziness. Why would people do that? People could be a little more respectful. So Azava, we have another power boat coming fast and then a pontoon boat going more reasonable. But it's so crazy to have rocked those nice couple that was fishing. It's so unnecessary. So here you have some more of the crazy group going. nest. I don't see anything in it, but that kind of nest is usually like, you know, like hawks, eagles, they make big nests, and that's good sized. Could be a seabird. There's seabirds around, but look at that big nest. So yesterday, we saw a muskrat, and he swam over to a big pile of brush. So I guess muskrats and beavers may make similar um, homes. Now that's the thing that Zava doesn't like seeing. See the big stick? Yeah, or the little sticks. If it's just a little stick stick, right. there's a tree trunk underneath it. Uh-huh, something big under it. So we're going to be very mindful of the um, navigation through here. I think one of the things we like about doing this trip is the variety. Truly, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do ten locks in a day unless yeah, you I mean, we want saw to. Beautiful areas, but I think we could have all come to a family agreement if we all said we was, can't. Everything was within two or three but, miles. But apart. the reason why we didn't mind doing the locks, the reason we didn't mind doing the locks, was because there was hardly any traffic. But it, what the other thing was nice yesterday, even though it was cloudy. It wasn't raining, so if you have to do a lot of locks, it is nice if you don't have to do it in the rain. And here comes... Okay, they are going to come very close to us. So a lot of them, as we can see, have turned the side and go down this channel. I guess the pontoon boat is not. Oh, he's just so he's just exploring. He's going back so to the lake. Right back to Rice lake. There is an anchorage in there. Oh, that would be deep enough if we wanted, wanted to. Yeah, like There's some people fishing there. Oh, this is a nice honey I'm home. Get a picture of this one, the log cabin. Something about a log cabin. Well, I guess it's stone and log. They've done an add-on. How pretty is that? Really pretty. Perfect flowers, beautiful dock. Really nicely done. Checking out someone's playground. Look at that inflatable trampoline and uh, pyramid over there. It's uh, pretty cool. We can't go down that way. We have to go around this. Um, it's a rather shallow area, but uh, must be a good fishing spot because we see someone here and we got to see them here and we see a lot of fishing boats passing us left and right. And then a beautiful area for nature right here on the side. It's a pretty trip going up the Trent Severn, even on this cloudy day. Very, very pretty, very peaceful. We feel like the very first explorers. 
course, I don't know if their canoes are as smooth as this, but just like for us, it's the first time seeing what's around the corner. What are we going to see? Looking at them this way, you can see a lot of lily pads on the side. Some of the houses that were gracing the hillside down into the water. Looking for ducks, muskrats, trying to see more wildlife today. I'm sure they're here. They're probably just hidden. Oh, look at the geese taking off. I think they're going to fly past us here. pretty to see them take off and land on the water. They're so graceful. Oh, here comes a kayaker in the same place where the geese just took off. Maybe that's why they took off. Two geese flew so close together, just like how, like, you know, fighter pilots fly in those close formations, like Blue Angels. They were flying so close together. At first, I thought it was just one goose. They were flying just so tightly nested. It was just cute.